Hi, church. Welcome to... I wasn't to... ready for that yet. We've got no idea what we're doing, so this could be quite rogue. Three or four times. It was like, hmm. Oh, this is going to be hard work. This, <laughs> this is going take a while. really well. <laughs> what are we doing? If you're watching this broadcast, there's a lockdown. No, love, little bit. <laughs> Feel free to just include all of this, please. <laughs> lockdown number seven. Eight, nine, ten, who knows? <laughs> what am I doing? That was like the most awkward handover ever. Like, hang on, I'll just drive it, I'll just drive it off a cliff and then it's over to you. <laughs> it's not on hot it's just me touching it. <laughs> hey church! Oh, Are we no. recording? She said that with so much joy. <laughs> Keep your hand off your face. Just got Jenny here with me, wondering what your plans are for this next lockdown, Jenny. Hanging out with Stephen again. I did perfect. Yeah, he just sits there with it stuck to his chin. It's really hard right now. This is just not working. Yeah, maybe Keen should be doing this. Hey, Victory Church, welcome to another online service as we come into lockdown number seven. Uh, we just have some ways to give, which will be on the screen. Uh, and we'd really like to encourage that if you need some help uh, during this lockdown, whether that mentally, uh, whether you just need someone to pray with you, we'd really love you to reach out. Uh, we got Pastor Swain bringing the word, uh, great, a great word on just trusting God, which I think is pivotal in this season. So uh, sit back, relax uh, and enjoy. Hi, Victory Church. Welcome this morning. I'm so glad you've joined us for Online Church. Here we are again. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is Andy. I'm just one of the staff here at Victory Church. And I'm really excited that you've jumped online today. We're going to jump straight into the Word. I've just got a really simple message this morning. So I hope you've got a coffee ready, a croissant on your lap, ready to go for the Word of God. Grab your Bible. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Just verse five and six today, really believing that God just wants to shift something in your life. Proverbs chapter three, verse five and six says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. This morning, I just want to come around a really simple thought and speak just for a few minutes on this thought. How do I get through this? How do I get through this? Let me just pray for you. Father, I thank You for every person watching online right now. Lord, I'm praying that You would speak to their hearts. Lord, not my words, but Yours. And Lord, would You shift something in someone's life today. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My wife, Katie, and I, we're really into right now a TV series. You probably know it. It's called Survivor. I wonder if I've got any Survivor fans out there right now. Now, we've been loving this series. Man, it's been awesome. It's been everything you want Survivor to be. There's been some big plays, some massive players, some bigger those, some, some of those players have been voted out. It's been everything that you want a Survivor series to be. I've been really, really enjoying it. I think I've noticed though in Survivor is that every person on the show really has one goal, one thought. And, and the thought is this, how do I get through this? How do I survive this? How do I make it to the end? How do I get through this? And you know, I don't know about you, but I'm here literally in our church building not even two hours into our 23rd lockdown with only 20 to go before Christmas. And I'm not sure about you, but I've had the thought, how do I get through this? How do I get through this? Maybe you found yourself not asking that particular question, but maybe you found yourself asking something really similar, more specific, like, God, how do I pay that bill? 
God, how do I tell my spouse how I'm feeling in this season? God, how do I do another day at that crazy workplace? Lord, how do I get up tomorrow? I'm so tired. Lord, how am I gonna make it through Christmas again this year with the family? How do I get through this? God, my anxiety is really high. My stress is crazy. My life is nuts. And I've got this happening and that happening. And the kids are driving me bonkers. And the school wants me to be a teacher. And my husband my, or my wife are really tired all the time. I don't wanna to talk to me heaps. And, and I don't even have time just to stop and to just process what the heck is going on in the world. God, how do I get through this? How do I get through this? You know, there are many stories throughout Scripture where we find biblical characters having moments like this. How do I get through this moments? And if there's one thing that I've learned from Scripture, there's one thing I've learned about God is that God can make a way where there seems to be no way. Our God can move mountains. Our God can do miracles. For example, take Acts chapter 16, right? I'll just tell you a little bit about it. It's Paul and Silas. They're preaching the gospel, the good news of Jesus, right, to people. Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 get thrown into prison. And the Bible says, Scripture says, at about midnight, they begin to praise and worship and pray to God. And suddenly their shackles on their hands fall off and the prison door swings open. God can provide a way when there seems to be no way. Why did Paul and Silas begin to praise and worship God in prison. Can I suggest to you that maybe they trusted God? Maybe they knew as well that God can provide a way when things seem impossible. They trusted God. I love this proverb that we read this morning because it shows us exactly this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Now. That's sometimes a problem I find, right? Because sometimes we trust God with maybe half of our heart or we trust Him with, with, with most of our heart, but, but to trust Him with all of it, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And instead of trusting God with everything we are, we, we try to make our own way. We try to make things happen for ourselves. We try to plan things ourselves and work out how I'm gonna make this happen, how I'm gonna pay this bill, how I'm gonna get to this. And we begin to use our own strength and our own determination to work out something that maybe we just need to trust God in. And we say, God, how do I get through this? And God's saying to you and I today, just trust me. Just trust me. No, but seriously, God, like, how do I actually do this? Like, like how do I do it? God just says, just trust me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You see, God's understanding is not our understanding. In Isaiah chapter 55, God says this to us. He says, your understanding, your thoughts are not my thoughts and your ways are not my ways. You see, friend, we may never really understand some things in life. We may never truly understand why we're going through what we're going through or why we're facing what we're facing, why COVID won't just go away, why this, why that. But God doesn't ask us to understand. He doesn't ask us to know everything going on. He just asks us to trust Him. Listen to how the Message Bible puts this verse, Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust God from the bottom of your heart and don't try and figure out everything on your own. See, God already knows what's going on. He already knows. He knows the beginning and the end. He knows what's going on in the world and He knows what's going on in your world. He already knows. The question that maybe I'm asking myself, you're asking yourself, and the question that we'll be asking ourselves time and time again, how do I get through this? Friend, the answer is just simply to trust God. And you're like, Andy, that's way easier to say than to do. And you're right. But we have to hold on to the Word of God. We have to hold on to the promises in the Word. Scripture tells us that God works all things for the good of those who love Him. God is actually working right now. God is working in your life right now. God is actively involved and present in your life right now. Trust God even in your doubts, even in your worries, even in your anxieties and your questions and your concerns. Friends, trust God 
today. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. In all your ways, submit to Him. Some translations say acknowledge. Acknowledge Him. Follow Him. Obey Him. And He will make, not He might make, or He maybe will make. No, God will make your paths straight. What's a straight path? A straight path is a direction. You see, God will show you the direction He wants you to go when you simply trust Him and acknowledge Him. When you simply say, God, I can't do this on my own. God, I can't work all this out on my own. And you say, Lord, I trust you. God will begin to lead you into that new job you're waiting for. God will begin to lead you to that person He wants you to catch up with. God will begin to lead you to friends that you've been asking for. When you simply say, God, I trust you and I acknowledge you and I don't understand everything. It's that place that God will lead you. You see, church, None of this right now that we're facing, that you're facing, none of it surprises God. It doesn't. None of it rocks Him. None of it rattles Him. It may rattle you and I, but God isn't rattled by this. No COVID, no vaccine, no situation and no circumstance rattles God. He is steadfast. He is faithful. He is good. Right now, He is in control. In fact, Jesus at this very moment sits on the right hand of God in complete authority, in complete ruling of everything you're going through. He right now rules and reigns and Jesus has a plan and a purpose for your life. You just need to stop and simply trust Him. Do not lose your hope. What's our hope? Hebrews 6.19 6.19 says that this hope is an anchor for our soul. What is the hope? The hope is in Jesus. Not in our government, not in a religion, not in my own understanding or my own workability. No, my hope, your hope needs to be in Jesus. How do I get through this, God? Just trust me. But that's scary, God. It doesn't seem like the smart thing to do. Shouldn't I start working things out and making some plans? And no, stop, God says, just trust me. Scripture tells us a story in Matthew chapter 14, and I'll just paraphrase it for you for time. Jesus' 12 disciples are on a lake in a boat on their own without Jesus. And Jesus decides then to go to them. And so He begins to walk on water. You might've heard this story before. And Peter, who's in the boat, looks out and sees Jesus. And Peter says, Jesus, if that is you, he says, tell me to come. Matthew chapter 14. Jesus says to Peter, come, come on. And Peter begins to walk on water. I feel like this morning for someone watching that, that's a word for someone that God's asking you to come to step out of the boat. What's your boat? Well, your boat might be your fears, your anxieties, your worries, your intimidation, your concerns. God's asking you to come this morning, step out of that boat and begin to walk towards Jesus. And so Peter does that. He steps out of the boat and begins to walk on the water. But quickly, the Scriptures tell us that the wind and the waves begin to move around Peter and Peter starts to freak out a bit and take his eyes off Jesus. And he begins in that moment to sink. And maybe right now in this current season that you are in, you feel a little bit like Peter. You feel like you're sinking a little bit. Maybe your eyes have been looking at everything but Jesus. This is happening and that's happening. I'm facing this and... Maybe your thoughts have been on anything except for Jesus, thinking about this and that and worrying about this and concerning this and, and, and you find yourself in this moment, just like Peter, where his eyes aren't on Jesus and he begins to sink into the water. I love this though. If you look at the Scripture, Matthew chapter 14, it says that the word immediately, Jesus immediately reached out for Peter. Jesus immediately reached out, friend, the hand of God today, the grace of God, 
The love of God and the mercy of God is reaching out to you today. And all you have to do is grab it. All you have to do is trust it. That's my Jesus. That's the Jesus I see in the Gospels that even when you and I are drowning, we're drowning in our fears and our worries and our concerns. Even when we're sinking, Jesus still comes to us and reaches out His hand and says, just grab it. Just trust me. I've got you. When there seems to be no way, Jesus always makes makes a way. God, how am I going to get through this? Just trust me. God, it seems, it seems not smart. It seems there must be another way. Just trust me. And maybe today you relate to what I'm saying. I'm done. I don't want to go for long, but before you click off this video and continue your Sunday, I just want to Stop for a moment. I just want you to ask yourself, am I okay? Ask yourself, how, am I all right? I want you to ask yourself, have I been trusting God? Are there areas where I'm worried and concerned about? Are there areas in my life that I'm asking the question, God, how am I gonna get through this? And just for a moment, Right now, before you click off this, I just want you to give those things to God. I just want you to let Him in. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. Father, I just pray for every person watching right now. Lord, I know you can move even through a screen. And so I'm asking, Jesus, would you bring peace to any person watching right now that needs your peace? God, for anyone watching right now that is maybe asking that question, Lord, how do I get through this? How do I make it through this situation? Lord, I ask for your peace to fall on them. Would you help them trust you again, God? Trust you in a place where we don't know everything. We don't understand what's going on right now, God. We don't always know why. But Lord, I ask that would you help us trust you? Would you help us reach out and grab your hand that is extended to us this morning? Thank you, God, for your love and your grace. And Holy Spirit, I know right now you're bringing comfort and peace to so many people watching this right now. And Lord, we love you this morning and we know you're with us. We know you have a plan for us and a purpose for us. And you are always good and you are always faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, what an incredible message from Pastor Swain on trusting God. I think something so pivotal for us as we go into another lockdown. Uh, but hey, I'd just really like to encourage you again that if you need prayer for anything, if you just need someone to talk to, if you're going through a tough time, would really encourage you just to reach out to, to someone at Victory Church. Uh, hope you have a great Sunday. Be well. <laughs>